If you want to know the student's life um, back, 50 years back, uh, because that's when I started my IIT days, 1962, half a century ago, uh, things were a little different. Um, it was a small community and the teacher-student relationship was um, very cordial. We used to have a um, student, um, I forget the name, coordinator, about five or six students used to be under one teacher and they used to look after us um, to the extent of uh, taking us to um, a restaurant and have tea and snacks uh, and asking all our problems, including any financial problem. There are many memorable incidents, but I will tell you only one. Uh, in those days, our director was uh, Professor S. R. Sengupta. He was a famous uh, civil engineer, and even in those days, he was a PhD from England in civil. And he was a really perfect, decent gentleman. And he used to take a trip round. I remember uh, one afternoon, around 1:30, I was running to reach S302 for my drawing class and I forgot to buy a, a drawing sheet and there was a shop at the entry at the entrance of the director's office opposite to the where the present library is and I went there <coughs> I was buying a um, drawing sheet and that was the time <coughs> West Indies and India, India team was fighting for, for the World Cup or some such cricket match. And um, in those days, the fashion was to have a drain pipe uh, trouser. And I had a black drain pipe trouser and a colored checkered shirt. And as it is, I am not so uh, good complexion. So he came and said, your team is doing well. Uh, 
I think my own experience is that like uh, our own IIT students are among the best in the world. I mean, there is there is no doubt about it. Uh, possibly only one thing that we are lacking uh, in our uh, education system is that we are making the education too much structured. So uh, creative learning or learning by oneself through projects, terminal projects or laboratory work. Uh, doing work by your own hands, these kinds of things are not emphasized so much in our in our system. But leaving that apart, if you think about the talent and the quality of the students and especially the mathematical abilities, I would say that our own students are among the best in the world. Our students have been the tops. I, 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 as Dean Students Affairs, I, I announce the results and in every team, every winning team of some Entrepreneurship Award, uh, this Innovation Award, this and that. Every team will have one or two or more, uh, either mechanical or manufacturing mm -hmm. students. Okay. In, uh, I, in our group, we work in uh, various areas related to uh, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, mass transfer in general, starting from large scale applications, but mainly we focus on small scale applications, which we call as microfluidics. And uh, uh, yeah, the funding agencies, like the government funding agencies, as well as several private organizations, have been very generous to fund us. And uh, essentially, we do work uh, in microfluidics uh, targeted to two types of applications. One type of application is biological application, where we use microfluidics to develop, say, certain medical diagnostic devices, something like that. And uh, like uh, this kind of a device which we call as a lab on a CD where it, you can drop a droplet of blood on, on that and there can be certain reactions on the surface of the CD. And based on that, when the CD is spun, uh, the fluid will move by centrifugal action and very quickly the test will be conducted and the result of the test will come. The patient doesn't need to go to the pathological lab it is a portable device, very rapid and uh, expected to be very accurate and not only that, it is very inexpensive. So if this device, this kind of device is developed and it comes to the market, I think it will revolutionize the medical diagnostic scene. Mechanical engineering department has contributed a lot. They have participated in the national scenario and even in the international scenario. I just tell some of the uh, contributions of mechanical engineering that our Calcutta Metro railway ventilation project was done by the mm. mechanical engineering department. Mm. Our Calcutta, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bosch uh, the airport, mm. that uh, national airport, the domestic airport, the air conditioning and ventilation system has been done by the mechanical engineering department of the IIT Corporation. These two main uh, projects at the national level, I am telling the metro railway ventilation in the early 70s, mm. and uh, this one is in the 90s. This one is in the mid 90s when this uh, airport is uh, the Subhashtanga Bose airport was renovated or just uh, an old airport was renovated. Apart from that, we have participated in many uh, projects. For example, we have participated in our ISRO cryogenic rocket engine project that ignition modeling, the first chamber design, the rocket engine project, they are the IIT mechanical engineering department as a contributor. Uh, behind this project, which is uh, uh, sponsored by the Department of Atomic Energy, we are at present developing a underwater water resistant laser cutting system. And recently, we have uh, developed the system, and uh, this kit uh, shows the uh, cutting of a flat sheet underwater with the help of water chip. I took a book of Karna and started reading it and I found that uh, before one embarks on making a software generalized, mm -hmm. okay, one has to algorithmize the method of deriving system equations. Mm -hmm. So I started working on it mm -hmm. and developed all sorts of philosophies and ultimately uh, we developed an algorithm by which we can straight derive uh, diagra uh, uh, system equations from these diagrams.
we are now giving a considerable amount of emphasis to students working on real life projects. These projects are typically of the kind of uh, making something which works and uh, it can be demonstrated. And not only at that, it could also be taken uh, to a competition and put to test along with uh, similar kind of uh, activities being done by students elsewhere. Some among these are, uh, some of the topics among this are the development of the Formula Students car. Students have to design a vehicle, make it perform, uh, work in the campus, roads and then take it to a, camp, con, uh, uh, to a competition and in, all this has to be done in a time frame of a, one year, within a year's time frame. And then in the competition they face with similar teams from various universities worldwide and it has to work and perform very well and score some good points. A similar such project has been done with an underwater vehicle where students have developed a vehicle in a very short period of uh, three months and taken it for a competition in San Diego in the US. There also they got to interact with some of the best of the teams in the US and uh, competed along. Formula students is uh, actually a multidisciplinary project uh, which involves uh, the design, uh, the manufacturing, electronics, uh, electricals and the engines and then the finance and management and marketing as well. So uh, uh, we need uh, more professors uh, to be involved in the project to take it to the next level that is uh, hardcore research and then uh, make it uh, academic project so that uh, a group of students can do it as a group project and it will be documented as an academic uh, Um, see, when I joined in 1990, I never thought of, first of all, this, this um, internet and other things, there's so many things have come up and we got used to it, uh, different areas of research opened up. So if you are, uh, if, if, I, if I extrapolate that in 10 years of time, I would probably see or like to see the department coming up with newer uh, ways or uh, directions in which the department do research, would research on the people, and they are much more equipped. Um, but there is one element that is still missing in there as the days passing by. The element of thinking uh, in a proper ways is still it's getting lesser and lesser. Okay, so therefore. Um, I would like to see the department having the faculty members as well as the student members putting in more thought rather than simply simply writing up an essay or something of that sort, trying to trying to do something which is going to be of use in a better way. Um, several different disciplines, uh, different uh, specializations are uh, going to come up and uh, we would have much more infrastructure in order to support one part of the problem, one, of, one part of the research we, we do not have right at this moment and that is the experimental research. Okay. Apart from uh, the manufacturing science, the professors belonging to this group, uh, we do not have much of experimental research, which is a very necessity for the department. But for that, we need uh, to build good quality laboratories, state of the art. Um, and the way that is the department is moving, I'm hoping that by, by another 10 years time, before I leave, I would be able to see that happening here.